When it comes to content creation, I'm a huge fan of the mindset that you don't need the most expensive gear to have good looking content. And that's where a microphone like this comes in because it only costs around $100, but sounds like it should be much more expensive. Before we get started, I just want to give a huge shout out to Rode for sending over the brand new white pod mic, as well as the rest of the white audio range. And if you want to check it out for yourself, I'll leave it in the description down below. But let's get started and check out what you get in the box for the pod mic. Can we just take a second to appreciate how nicely this microphone is packaged? And that's pretty much all you get in the box. You get the microphone and I think this is some kind of Australian snack. I'll save it for later. One of the main goals of this channel is to help you improve the quality of your content and live streams without completely breaking the bank. Because I know what that's like. When I first started streaming, I could barely afford anything. I had like used equipment, barely even had a desk. And I just tried to make stuff look good with whatever I could afford. The issue is a lot of creators see what other creators are using and think that's what you have to have to be taken seriously so a lot of people go out and buy a microphone like this which is obviously the short sm7b fantastic microphone but it costs like 400 dollars or something like that and you've got to pair it with a very expensive like mixer or interface to make it work and then by the time you've done that you end up with like a 700 to a thousand dollar setup which is absolutely insane for someone who's just getting into content creation and that's pretty much why i cover a lot of microphones in the 100 to 150 range because in my opinion that range is perfect to get quality without completely breaking the bank the rode pod mic is a broadcast quality xlr dynamic microphone designed for content creation and live streaming and that last part about live streaming is super important or at least it is to me anyway, because if a microphone is designed for live streaming, not only should it sound good, it should also look good because more often than not, a live stream microphone is going to appear on camera and it should look professional, look aesthetic and fit within your setup. Obviously, the original pod mic's been around for a while now and that looks great, but these new ones look absolutely fantastic. They're so clean looking and obviously a lot of people like the white aesthetic for their setups. However, it's one thing for the microphone to actually look good, but does it also sound good? And the answer is, well, yes, you're listening to it right now, but... I do have a bunch of filters on it. I've got like EQ and compression and all sorts of other stuff like that, giving it this radio broadcasty sound. So this is what the pod mic would sound like straight out of the box. I've just removed all the filters, all the EQ and compression and stuff. So I've lost that radio broadcast sound. But as you can hear straight out of the box, the pod mic still sounds really good. Most of the other microphones that I cover on this channel are either USB or USB slash XLR microphones, which means they have buttons, dials, knobs, as well as like RGB and software, which comes with it. However, this one, very basic bare bones microphone because it's XLR only, which means it has an XLR input on the back and that's about it. However, that's not a bad thing at all because it means that Rode have focused all their energy and budget and research and stuff on the audio quality of this microphone instead, which means that you get much higher performance out of a microphone that really doesn't cost that much. Speaking of audio quality though, I should probably compare this $100 microphone to something a little bit more expensive, like the Shaw SM7B. Villainy wears many masks, none so dangerous as the mask of virtue. Villainy wears many masks, none so dangerous as the mask of virtue. And as you can hear, both of these microphones actually sound pretty good. There's probably not a $300 difference between these two microphones. However, for those of you that were wearing like headphones or have good speakers at home and stuff, you probably hear that the two microphones do actually sound a little bit different. The biggest difference between these two microphones is probably going to be the fact that the Rode lacks a little bit of low end. It doesn't have as much bass and warmth down in like the lower frequencies and stuff. And also it has a little more clarity and treble. So it just sounds a little bit harsher. So I want to kind of play around with this a little bit and see if I can EQ it to sound a little bit more similar. And then we'll redo the test to see if you can actually see or hear a difference. So to make these changes, I'm actually going to be using my GoXLR, which has a multi-band EQ, which allows me to change different frequencies and make it sound better or remove things that don't sound good. So the way that I'm going to be doing this is removing some of the sub bass, which is basically low rumble or AC noise, anything that's like lower than human voice, increase the bass frequency. So between 125 to 250 Hertz, boost them a little bit, cut out some of the mids to avoid that like boxy nasally sounds. And then right at the end in the treble, gonna remove a little bit of that. So it hopefully sounds a little bit less harsh. And then if we repeat the same test that we did before, the two microphones should sound kind of closer together. So, Villainy wears many masks, none so dangerous as the mask of virtue. Villainy wears many masks, none so dangerous as the mask 
of virtue. And the second time around, those two microphones now sound much closer together, which is honestly a great thing because by the time you've actually mixed these two microphones in with like background music or gameplay, or they just get compressed onto like YouTube or Twitch or wherever you're putting your content, there's going to be hardly any noticeable difference, especially for the £300 it would cost you extra to get a microphone like this. Being a $100 microphone, it's obviously not going to be perfect, but it doesn't have that many downsides. The one negative that I could probably like say, and it's only a very small one and easily fixed, is that sometimes, because obviously you're speaking quite close to this microphone, it suffers a little bit from plosives. So if you're saying P and B sounds like pop, pop, popsicle, you can hear the air uh, hit the microphone. And that's quite easily fixed with something like this. Because if I say like pop, pop, popsicle, it helps to fix it a lot. So technically, it will downgrade the aesthetics a little bit. But if you're really a stickler for the perfect audio, you can pick up one of these for like 20 bucks or so. Being a microphone that most people are going to buy for live streaming and content creation and stuff, I thought it'd be a good idea to actually show you the off-axis rejection and keyboard like rejection and stuff in the background. So if I keep talking into my microphone while typing into these blue switches and stuff, which are very loud and probably not the ideal setup for someone who live streams and things, but as you can hear, you can still hear my voice relatively clearly while hopefully avoiding some of the actual keyboard noises. And as I've said before, it's a dynamic microphone and an end address microphone, which means most of the audio is going to be picked up from straight in front of it like this. So if I head off to one side like this, the audio is going to hopefully be cut off a little bit better. And same if I go around to the other 90 degrees, you're probably not going to be able to hear my voice as clear as if I was in front of it like this, which is great for someone who's in an untreated space because it means it's only going to pick up your sound and not your neighbors, your dog, or any echo and reverb, it's going to actually have a nice clean sound for your content. I honestly think Rode have nailed this microphone and obviously it's not the highest of high-end microphones, but it's one of the best, if not the perfect microphone for the majority of content creators because being a dynamic microphone, it's going to help you actually remove or at least avoid some of the background noise that you might get in like an untreated space, but also it looks great for live streaming and it sounds great, especially if you're willing to put a little bit of work in with your voice and the EQ and stuff to get it like a little bit more bass heavy and warm and things like that. And it's one of those things that like, you can't go wrong with a microphone like this. It's a hundred dollar microphone. And if you pair this with an interface or a mixer that's like a hundred, hundred fifty dollars, something like the Elgato Wave XLR for two hundred and fifty dollars, which is less than this entire microphone, you'll have an amazing setup for live streaming and content creation. Anyway, hopefully this video was useful for you. If it was, smash the like button down below. I'll really appreciate it. And also, if you want to learn how to improve this microphone and get that radio broadcast sound, check out this video here, which I recently made. And I'll see you all in the next one.